Hey y'all. So I know my um look, I was sitting up here on the way to the streets and I have real deal was um on, on TikTok. That's why I brought it to YouTube so I could just talk how I want to. I was just talking about I was on TikTok, I seen some guy talking about relationships and he was just saying how, you know, a lot of alpha males probably, you know, have have never had the experience of having someone else take them out on dates or whatever and so as I was listening to him a little bit it made me think about and and this ain't got nothing to do with alpha beta de delta beta none of that stuff um but just in general I was just like okay you know I get it but he was just saying how you know for some people like you know it's sad that <laughs> he put one of me on me but he put one of me and sad that you know you can't even see nobody really like caring about you in order enough en enough to take you out or whatever else and i seen something in the comments that was i ain't read comments for real whatever was at the bottom of the end of descriptions or something like that um kind of sort of y'all this person driving so slow oh my god it don't make sense but i guess um <laughs> the comment was kind of like um something to the fact of like you know uh, dating and, and, and being able to, to have someone who can take you out on the same dates that you take them out on. And I, I can respect that. Um, but it made me think about this situation. So lately, y'all know, I've been telling y'all, I've been in the streets, I've been meeting people, trying to, you know, chit chat. I ain't been meeting a lot of people. Don't make it seem like it's a lot, y'all. It's It's been by one. But, <laughs> but I've been talking to, to people, um, to the fellas, at this rate, the fellas make me want to go get me a girlfriend. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, cause the ladies seem like they is happy and and where it's at. Um, I'm just I'm just being completely honest. Like I'm here for. See, I was about to say that, and I feel like somebody's gonna take it out of context. I was gonna say I'm here for building relationships in general with people, and when I talk about relationships, I don't always mean intimate, cause people always automatically go to think that people gonna have sex or whatever have you. And in this case, I need them to get out this fast lane. <laughs> in this case, um, when I talk about relationships and different things like that, it's just being out and about and being able to um, develop as a person and being able to have fun with people. So, you know, you have to be able to meet people and make friends. And I, I have not been outside to make friends in so long. So now this is me opening back, back up to the world and exploring uh, myself and others. So, needless to say, um, I've been out here and, and meeting some friends, and, it, and it's it's allowing me to see myself in a different light. It's allowing me to explore my feelings and explore like a lot of uh, realization moments and, and why people feel certain ways when they're talking to people and how people some people are open how some people are um when I say open open and honest about like hey I'm just trying to meet friends and you know you do you do you I'm gonna do me type of situation we could just enjoy each other and while other people are like no I really want to date you and they you know people are like I really want to date you but they're usually like on the honeycomb hideout <laughs> meaning they they're okay with saying that they're gonna date you and you're supposed to be the one you're supposed to be the one and only for them however they don't um they don't give you that equal opportunity where they're saying that they're gonna be um in a relationship with you or what have you and then they'll turn around and be like dating multiple people but just don't want you to date multiple people so I'm just like I'm exploring all these different avenues and lanes and, and just like in, in a different light but needless to say I was thinking about you know me and my friend we were having a conversation about how when you first start talking to people and people have this expectation that when you're talking to them like um you it's like only them like they want you to believe like I said that you're the only person that they're talking to and so you know they try to be like oh you know when you do see them with someone else they try to explain it off and be like oh well it's not what you think and and how she and I are very similar and we're just like bro 
my expectation is that you're talking to most multiple people like we haven't had a conversation to say you know we're going to be monogamous or it's just going to be us or whatever else like we just started talking and and that's cool like we're exploring each other we're getting to know each other but um one of the guys that she was talking to i guess he thought you know maybe because and and, and i guess based off of his, his own experiences he thought that she would just because she saw some girl talking to him that she was just gonna like dismiss him altogether and she was like no but when we get to that point like i'm not gonna be one of your girls it's just gonna be you and i or it's not you know like the the talking stage and actually dating um or or getting into a relationship is, is totally different and so um you know i told i definitely agree with her and and it's all about knowing what you want how you want who you want whatever else but um one of my one of the things that has i don't want to say a cause but concern but one of the things that i'm noticing out here in these streets is that there's a lot of guys who feel like the girl should be doing the guy role like they want to say that they want to be the alpha male and they want to um say that they want all these things for a woman to do but then they don't want to do the male portion they don't want to carry that other that other side of it and it's like bro like that does not match so one of the things were um for instance like what they what the instagram i mean the tiktok post was saying like going out on dates like if you're saying that you you know as a woman i want to be courted i can say that for myself as a woman, I want to be courted, my friend, you know, as well. So, like, we're, we want you to take the lead as the male and, and court us. Like, I've shown you that I have interest in you, that I want to get to know you, that I like you. You know, yes, if we're just friends, like, we can go out and we can um, we can split it where I pay for my things, you pay for your things. Go Dutch, as they call it. But if you really want to be with me and you saying that, you know, this is the relationship you want to be in, I don't understand what's the issue with you uh paying for a meal um i'm not sitting up here trying to eat for free or whatever else if i'm not interested in you i definitely play for my own stuff like it's not that serious and i and i'm one of those people i don't buy nothing i can't i don't order anything i can't afford even when you know talking to somebody um but she like it's been this thing with these guys lately where these guys want girls to like beg for them and chase after them and whatever else and it's like yeah that that doesn't work in my world that doesn't make sense for me like not to say that we can't be mutual but I'm not gonna chase you um because if you're interested I feel like interested people act a certain way so I'm I'm just giving out my business because I ain't gonna tell nobody else business before I tell mine but I was talking to this one guy this one guy approached me um when I was out you know he was saying all these he was talking I wasn't paying it. I wasn't noticing that he was flirting with me. One of my friends had to be like, "No, girl, he flirting with you." And I was like, "I missed it because I just, I just think people just be talking." Um, and so, you know, he was like, "Oh, I'm gonna have to apply the pressure to you, da da da." And of course, me, I'm slick out the mouth sometimes. I was like, "How can you apply pressure to a diamond that's already cut and fitted?" And he was like, damn. And he was like, does she always, like, he was asking my friend, does she always just be quick with it like that? <laughs> and my friend was like, that's that's her. Like, whatever you get is what you get, depending on the day. And I was like, that is me. Look, that is me. And so, you know, like, he would say something else. And I was like, I just, I wasn't picking up on it. And, of course, like, oh, he told me, he was like, um, if you had to holler at me, how would you holler at me? And I was like, why would I be hollering at you? <laughs> yeah, I tell y'all, some days I be so naive and I be so out of it. I, don't prepare, I really don't pay attention. But I asked him, I was like, why would I be hollering at you? I was like, that doesn't make sense to me. I was like, if you want to talk to me, then you would make it known and make it clear that you want to talk to me. Like say that, hey, I'm interested in you, you know, or I'm interested in talking to you or whatever it is. And I was like, and then we can exchange numbers and we can start talking. And that's the thing. I was like, it's, there's no game or gimmick or whatever else have you. And so, I don't know. I think he was, because he was at work when I was just out chilling. So, I don't know what happened, but that didn't happen. 
But my friend later on was like, you know, he was really trying to talk to you. Like, he was trying to holler at you. And I was like, when? Because he should have just said, hey, my name is such and such. Like, I think you're cute. Like, I want to talk to you. Like, I was like, I definitely missed it. And, of course, like I said, I thought about it. I was like, oh, so maybe he was trying to talk to me. Like, cool. So when I went back, like, you know, because I, I go hang out in the same streets. Y'all know I, I try to. I try to learn my streets. So I don't be wanting to be too many places. So, um, needless to say, excuse the um, GPS if y'all can hear it. I don't know if y'all can or can't. But, so needless to say, afterwards, like, he had he had said what he had to say. But I um, I went and I was like, my friend told me he was trying to holler at me. Like, that's literally what I said. Hey, my friend was telling me he was trying to holler at me. And he was, he just looked and I was like, is that the case? Like, did you just want my number? You should just ask for my number. He was like, oh, well, can I get your number? I was like, yeah, like, what's the problem with just asking that? Um, <laughs> and so we exchanged numbers or whatever else, but it was like a week or two, a week and a half, maybe. He ain't never call. He ain't never text. He ain't never do nothing. I was like, oh, okay. But because, of course, like, I was like, I want to talk to you. I text. I call. I was like, hey, what's up? Well, I think I called. And I was like, hey, what's up? You know, how you been? Da, 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 da. And he was like, oh, I appreciate you for being um, being bold enough to like call, to call me and whatever else. And I was like, okay, cool. You know, I was like, so what's up? You know, this, this, and third. <laughs> and pretty much kind of was just saying that like, you know, you can call. Look, you got my number. I got yours. You can call, you know, X, Y, Z. So it was a great first conversation always usually always is uh it was a great first conversation i thought you know it was going to progress to something else like where we can hang out uh we text a little um he mentioned you know hanging out or something and i was like hey you know he told me he was into cars so i was like hey it's this this location here have you ever been you know x y z i think it'll be a, a nice place you know for us to go check out nothing ever came of it I was just like, okay. So I didn't even pers pursue it any further because it's kind of like, I'm not going to chase nobody. Look, I'm not going to chase nobody at all. So, but then every time I go out, he's like, well, why you don't call me? Why you don't text? Why this? And I say, bro, I did. And, and the last time that I text you, this was what I said. And you never responded back or whatever else. And I'll give it to you. You might have missed it, might have forgot, whatever have you. But, you know, the phone works for you just as well as it works for me. So I don't understand why, you know, why you would not have uh, text back or responded back. Oh, shoot, y'all. Um, but, yeah, I was just like, what's up? <laughs> and And yet, every time I see him, he's always like, oh, well you know, why you don't call me? Why this? Why that? And I'm like, bro, you never picked up the phone. Don't think I'm, and I, I said it just like that. Don't think I'm finna chase you. Don't think, you know, that I'm finna press you. I was like, if you want to talk to me, it's going to be equal. Like with, we could go back and forth. I was like, but I'm not that girl to sit up here and always be the one trying to initiate something. That's crazy to me. Um, I was like, it's just crazy to me. And then, of course, you know, I had another friend, another guy friend who I was hanging out and, ch and talking to. And he was kind of similar. He's like, you can call me anytime. You know, don't don't matter what time it is. Da, 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 da. You know, oh, X, Y, Z. You know, it was it was all these other things like you can call me anytime you can this, this and that, you know, and I'm like, OK, cool. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. Sorry. I was trying to get it up and it wasn't. It was not coming. It's slim. Sorry. I apologize. Anyway, so the other guy was like, you can call me anytime, text me anytime, anytime, da, da, da. And I was telling him, I was like, okay, I called you. You know, like I called, tw you know, I've called twice and you're not, you know, you didn't respond back or, you know, it'll take, or I say I, I've texted you and then I called you know, whatever, like I got to call twice in order for you to, to call me back. I was like, nobody wants to do that. Who wants to feel like they're chasing somebody, especially in the beginning? Like that shit's not cool. You get what I'm saying? Like, and, and 
I was like, I don't think, <laughs> look, as much as when we hang out and you're face to face with me and you seem like you're interested, when we're not together in the same space, you don't seem that interested. So, you know, it is what it is. Like, you know, just kind of be, be honest um, with yourself so that you can be honest with me because at the end of the day, if that's not what it is, then it's not what it is. Don't, don't be sitting up here trying to get me to press you right get me to to look like i'm the thirsty one when it's not that serious it because it's not <laughs> look because it's really not and um anyway and needless to say you know like y'all it's been it's been a, a interesting group of, of gentlemen to say the least um and one of the, the one of the two i'm not gonna put it on 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 either one I ain't gonna look give y'all all the business but one of the two you know he has someone else he's talking to and of course me just like I told y'all with my homegirl we're not uh solo dolo we're not monogamous you know you can talk to other people like that's cool <clears throat> and that's what I was saying and then of course like when he's talking to me sometimes he's like because I was telling him, I was like I don't really be paying attention when people be allegedly flirting with me honestly I don't I say because I just, I don't, I'm just thinking people just being friendly. And I was like, so, of course, if I'm just thinking that people are, are just being friendly, I was like, it, it kind of just is what it is. Like, needless to say, I was like, it kind of just is what it is. Like, unless you are straightforward, I don't know. Because I'm just assuming that we're all friends and we're all hanging out or whatever have you. So, um he was just kind of asking me all these questions like why don't you pay attention to this why don't you do this why don't this that, and the third and I was like it's not that I'm not trying to I was like I'm just getting back out here in the game like I'm just getting back out here I don't know nothing about this I got to learn everything over again look I be in the house <laughs> I grew up in the house ain't nobody look my, I was sheltered I tried I and even when I, I was sheltered not sheltered I was sheltered enough and as I grew up I learned that the things that was going on around me but I was like I was I was a little sheltered and even when I went to college like I was I was a little street smarts a little book smarts a little look a little bit of everything y'all I went I'm following this GPS I ain't gonna lie to y'all it got me going all the way around the world I could have got off where I usually get off at next time I know not to follow this because it's just it got a lot look it's got a lot going on but yeah, so um, I was just telling him that. And, and people think that, I guess, because they're so used to people lying to them, people be thinking that I'd be lying. And I'd be like, I, I don't. I was like, I just want to be in love and love a whole bunch of people. You know, not that I have to make love to folks, but just want to be, you know what I'm saying, in community and just have fun. Um, and so I was telling him about the girl. So he got, he got his other girl that he's talking to. And he weirdly introduced us to each other. It was not what it should have been. And so, you know, of course, I was just like, when I met her, I was like, she's cool. But it was a lot of shady stuff that happened after that. And I was like, I don't know what kind of stuff y'all into, what kind of kinks y'all got. But <laughs> it ain't, I'm not about that life. Look, I'm not about that life with, with, with y'all folks at all. And so, needless to say, it's been it's been an interesting go. Look, it's been an interesting go at it. And um, but one of the things that happened, I was telling the story so I could say this. One of the things that happened was um, he introduced me wrong, all wrong. But then wanted to turn around, tell me to talk to other people, whatever else. And then when he sees me out, oh, yeah, this is my spot. I'm going to have to turn around and find somewhere else to go. Anyway, so he sees me out. And I'm ha I'm having fun, having a good time. Um, and I wound up dancing with someone. And then he kind of got to, I guess he allowed his jealousy to kind of um, shrug its head. And I was just like... I don't, I don't understand. 
hold on y'all gotta pay for parking all right y'all so anyway needless to say um after the little shindig or whatever look whatever happened he just kind of he just was he was real rude and disrespectful i ain't gonna lie to y'all that's the only um that's the only way that i can really explain it residential okay that's the only way that i really can explain it like i was just sitting up here like you know for somebody who's telling me you need to talk to other people you need to do all of these all, do all the things um and then when you see somebody talking to me or you know whatever like now all of a sudden you get jealous but then you 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 introduced me to a whole chick i didn't even, you didn't, well you un, unmasterfully <laughs> ignorantly introduced me to a whole chick that i didn't even know about you get what i'm saying and at least i i, I had to come a courtesy to, to to act right and stuff you know to be nice or whatever else but i was just like yo for real like y'all when i tell you the disrespect that had happened i'm gonna I'm do a i'm gonna do a little something or other but yeah like these guys i don't be understanding how you how y'all do that guys fellas respond to me like how can you how can you sit up there you tell a girl you don't really want to be with her uh date her exclusively and then you show up with another chick and you you know where you and her are supposed to be this is really the kicker you and me i drove an hour and a half to come and visit with you or whatever else you got a whole nother chick around like you ain't know that me and you, that you requested for me and you to be together and hang out and then all of a sudden um you got somebody else here but then you're gonna get mad because i'm out having a good time and you just see me it's just so happen to see me out I didn't even bring another person here to to you know do the same thing that you do and then you had this is this is why i call it disrespectful why i can't really i don't think i can really deal with him because then you're gonna be handsy with my friend you know that's disrespectful and you know she don't like you like that and you know if anything you being handsy with you know another female or whatever have you is your business but you don't touch my friends what's wrong with you um yeah y'all these these fellas are his ruthless and crazy um i'm here for people being themselves but you know they say when they show you who they are you better believe them honey i know i had a toxic season but i'm out of that toxic season and I, my eyes wide open and i'm just paying attention and i'm just like cool 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 but y'all fellas who be sitting up here think a girl's supposed to beg y'all. I don't think you should be begging a girl, number one. So I definitely think a girl shouldn't be begging you. I think things should be very much so mutual and you should be having fun and whatever else. But that's just me and my my ideas and preference. Um, but yeah, y'all. She's still dating. She's still figuring this stuff out. She will be giving y'all more information. I'm about to, I'm going to record a little bit, I guess, when I go out here and stuff. But, um... Let me text my friend, let her know where I'm at. All right. Talk to y'all later.